you, what was the starting point of this film? Yeah. So far, I didn't hear. I guess there's a young filmmaker from very far away place. Let's say China is remote to, to Switzerland. Um, I think your, your first work, your first novel, always very based on emotion towards a different land and different people. So a less, <coughs> less local based, you know, less localized story. Um, and in a way, that if you only have 10 minutes short film, you want to combine all your history and your country's history, you know, like small, small kind of epic idea. And for this film, I wanted to somehow reflect my past as Chinese or as a villagers uh, onto those old people on the Wales mountain. So the, on, on this mountain, I traveled in, in, uh, in Britain, in Wales, the west part of the, the Britain, a very lonely area. Uh, people speak Welsh, and only very lonely old people live on the mountain. And the landscape is not as beautiful as Switzerland. You know, here you still have somehow great sun or whatever. But in, in Wales, mountains is really poverty and aged peasant. And uh, there's a certain kind of loneliness which is very strong. The fundamental, the so fundamental spirit for me is the loneliness. And this is kind of totally remote on the edge of the world. And uh, that kind of emotion corresponds to my emotion when I left China, because I left when uh, I'm already quite old, like 30 years old. So I felt extremely uh, dislocated as a writer or as an artist. You know. I, th I think if you are just uh, come to make money in the West, OK, that's something else. But in my case, it's kind of I'm like a bit like punk artist to come to the West to express, to see, to find the kind of communication as artist. And when you don't speak the Western language, that, that is doomed. Because you're a writer, so you are, you are, you are suppressed to, to express. Uh, and this film finally really kind of talk about this kind of uh, isolation. Oh, great. Thank okay. you. Yeah. OK, we start.
眼给了我黑色的眼睛，我却让他寻找光明。废弃了，只有花朵还活着。从我祖父的房子里传出来，邻居们站在门外，看我被祖父鞭打。So the story actually develops.、Uh, the reason I went to the place is.、Um, First, I went to the mountain. I I was、uh, impressed by the beauty of the mountain and the space,、uh, the, the 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 absolute kind of pureness of the nature without human, without human nature. Yeah, if you come from the third world, all come from China. Is the nature is about human.、Um, and then I heard the story. The second time I visited, I heard the story on the most beautiful mo- mountain top. This couple, artist couple, commit suicide. Uh, Welsh couple because the loneliness, and they kill themselves on the on the Boxing Day, which is the next day of the Christmas Day. And the woman is an artist, the man is a carpenter, and they they own the whole mountain, like you know, the hundreds of acres of mountain, and the whole mountain is covered by the flowers rather than the crops. So it shocks me quite a bit, you know. In China, if you have mountain, you know, you grow your orange, you grow your rice, you know, grow your food. But on that mountain, it's pure. It's not for food. It's it's for aesthetic.、Um, so I was very shocked、um, to hear that the 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 commit suicide story. So I used this poet called Gu Chen, which later on you find in the film. He also commit suicide in a little island in New Zealand. So that generation of Chinese poet left China in the eighties after nineteen eighty nine. Maybe you have heard of the Tiananmen student demonstration. In the West, you call it massacre.、Um, so all these poets left China in the end of the 80s to New Zealand, to America, to everywhere, you know, even Switzerland. And the one of the poets I'm using here, he also committed suicide after some years in New Zealand. And mainly is isolation, the cultural isolation, maybe not physical isolation. So I thought that I combine those theme about artists cannot stand the the, the, the pure aesthetic force. Um, artists actually want to return to its own、uh, intellectual land rather than nature, and this kind of、uh, it's very dark. You know, 
but I think it happens everywhere, uh, whether you are Welsh or Chinese. Can I, can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. I mean, what made you suddenly start to do a lot of film? I mean, you said that at the beginning, when you were in China, mm -hmm. you were not fond of the idea of making yeah. film, and then suddenly, is yeah. it your travel to England? Is it the way? But actually, that's my speed. You know, if I eat, I you know, like Frederick knows. I eat like five meals a day. And, you know, I'm always hungry. I mean, this is my rhythm. Like it. before, I was making film. I I really wrote a lot. Something like five novels, three series book. But I was young. I only started. You know, for ten years, I wrote, published many many books in China. Uh, but the quantity is nothing. You know, could be bullshit. Yeah. But I think it's it's really someone's rhythm. Like I'm always kind of st struggle to express in any second. So, so my, my my idea of expression is between the thinking, be, between the thinking, the moment between the thinking and you put on the the pen shouldn't 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 have distance. So there's it, it has not. You yeah. should not do that. Yeah. Mm. So so all the artists will say that's bullshit. You, know, you must be superficial because you, how can you not thinking for ten years before you settle on your thoughts? I say sorry, but that's not me. You know. So there's no distance. It's immediate expression almost. Is it also what you live, or is it what you think? Uh, well, they they together, and you know, I think that's really. I guess different people has very different way of express. For example, the Russian or Polish filmmaker I've been working with, they much, much slower interior, much, they let the time to, to take them, let time to consume their thoughts, and then they, really, they reflect on that. And I respect that. Um, I mean, Tarkovsky, I, I, I believe he works more in that way. But, <coughs> but, but in this case, no. In so for case. you, at what time comes the uh, moment of the thinking? What time comes a moment thinking? Yeah, is it after the film is made? Or do you have a moment uh, where you say, well, what I've done, I re-read what I've been doing, I re Well, <coughs> uh, maybe it's not like that. It's more like, it's like my, my subjective eyes cast the meaning on every single objective items during the filmmaking and before the filmmaking. Uh, and it, it's it's like this, like a, when I see a, a rock there, it is no longer a rock. You know, and at that second, uh, my subjective eyes already project the meaning, and my kind of interpretation towards that rock. So I was thinking of the rocks to that man meaning something, the rock to me meaning something else. So I already construct the story, although maybe essay-like, poetic, non-narrative story on that. So the, at that moment, I, I already film, and I film with some kind of attitude, of course. But the <clears throat> my way of filmmaking is very merciless, meaning I never go back to watch. I go so bored, uh, you know, like the sound process or the, the, the print, the lab process, I no, longer, I no longer feel the film. I am thinking the 10 next ones. So <clears throat> I move on, I move on. Um, right, so yeah. you told before that uh, you told us before that it was really difficult to start filming uh, while you were in uh, Beijing Academy. Yeah. And then suddenly when you came to UK and you study, you make film. So I, I have a question. Is that because the UK school was more uh, good to you to, to express yourself or, or it was because you were outside of China? Because... Mm -hmm.